When Pennsylvania State Senator Doug Mastriano issued a 40-day call to prayer and fasting, uh, which, by the way, I've done before, even when I was in public office, the left was outraged. Now, I spoke about this earlier this week. These calls for prayer have been a really a key element in our national history. I mean, remember hearing about this prayer from President Roosevelt? Many people have urged that I call the nation into a single day of special prayer. But because the road is long and the desire is great, I ask that our people devote themselves in a continuance of prayer. You know, and he went on to lead the nation in, in a prayer. Was he a Christian nationalist? What does this say about our nation that so many have forgotten this important element, that we are a people that have a religious history, and prayer has been very fundamental to this nation? Join me now to discuss this is Pennsylvania State Senator Doug Mastriano. He represents Pennsylvania's 33rd District. Senator, welcome to Washington Watch. Glad to be on with you. Well, let me just say, Senator, first, uh, I appreciate you being bold in your faith, that you're not ashamed to be a follower of Jesus Christ, and you know where the source of our strength comes from. So let me just ask you, were you, were you surprised by the reaction from many on the left and in the media for your call for prayer and fasting? Uh, not at all. I mean, we, we've seen a rise of bigotry and religious hatred from the media and, and the left wing of the Democrat Party for several years. You know, they, they call themselves the tolerant ones only if you agree with them 100 percent. I mean, we see the, the latest turn of name calling. And the thing, Tony, that's uh, heartbreaking, for instance, I got the Liberty Bell picture behind me here. And, you know, of course, Leviticus 2510 is on there. So does that make all the founders, Christian nationalists, that wet term that only you know has been created a year or two ago, it's a, as a pejorative against anyone who uh, expresses their faith publicly. But the the thing is, you know, throughout history, you did the Frank, Franklin Delano Roosevelt prayer, his D Day prayer that he issued on the sixth of June, nineteen forty four, is better than what you'll hear from most pulpits these days. I remember. As a historian, I'm a doctor of history. Presidents going up to President Obama have called the nation to prayer, whether it was Ronald Reagan after the Marine bar barracks was attacked in Lebanon in 83, uh, right, and several other times by Reagan, and of course, um, the, the senior Bush during Desert Storm, all the way up to 9-11 and beyond. And so this is not a new thing in history. So, Senator, in your opinion, do you think this is designed, this labeling, designed to silence Christians, to discourage them from entering into public office and speaking out in public? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you'll see in politics, there's not a lot of courage. You, you know, I guess the, the path of least resistance is normal for most politicians. And uh, for me, I retired as a colonel. That's the highest you, you could get in, in my career. feel blessed to achieve that rank. Uh, was lined up to have a sweet job post uh, army to ride off in the sunset, and I couldn't do this. The Democrat Party has been attacking me for many years now. They they singled me out the DNC and the DLCC uh, last year for political destruction because they saw, they saw me as a threat for their ambitions in Pennsylvania. Uh, it didn't work. Made me more popular in the state. Well, Senator, I want to thank you for your boldness in not shrinking back not uh, trying to hide in the shadows, but standing out boldly, proclaiming truth and just just running into it. And I'm just grateful for men and women like you that have that type of conviction. So thank you for joining us today. And I'm going to encourage our folks to join with you in, uh, in praying uh, for thank our you. nation, for Pennsylvania, and uh, for these upcoming elections. Glad to have you with us, Senator. Thank you. Prayer is the key. And, and that's how we get our way out of this dark time. Thank you.